All right, guys, welcome to the channel. We're gonna go over today is this uh, notch uh, Senti uh, pole saw. Now, I've been wanting to get this for a while and I've been putting it off and I ended up breaking one of my rules, which is, you know, buy a tool once, buy a nice one. I did my research and, you know, they are a little bit pricey, but totally worth it. So, you know, I started with this Fiskars 14 footer, all fiberglass, a while back. And uh, it did its job for what I needed, but I needed something longer. This is only 14 feet. It did come with a blade. And, uh, you know, it's used it for so many, you know, years that, you know, it's pretty much dull. So I kind of tossed it. So, uh, you know, I still keep it around just in case. But, you know, this one's like about probably about five pounds or so, uh, all fiberglass. So, you know, it did its job. And uh, I ended up then getting this other Fiskars. This is 16 footer. Go get these at your local uh, box stores or online. I put some of the links below. They help us out. We're trying to grow. Can't do it without your support. I ended up getting this one. Also comes with a blade. Uh, you know, it's pretty sharp here. You have to pull down. A little tab right there. Uh, the reason I got this one is for, for the pulley system. Cuts about an inch and three quarters, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, very, very nice, uh, super easy to cut. It is in a combination of aluminum with fiberglass, 16 footer. And same thing, you could get these at your local box store. So it works pretty good for me, but I needed something more than 16 feet. As the trees have been growing for years, and I ended up breaking the rule with this one. This one's 23 feet. Picked it up at this company, Vivor or whatever. That was about $89. And uh, I gotta tell you, this thing is a pain in the butt to use. Super, super unstable. Uh, it kept on bending right here, you know? Uh, so I ended up putting that little piece of aluminum you see right there, uh, because it just kept on bending all over the place. So uh, the blade is thin, wobbles a lot. It does come with a hook, and it does come with a little push hook right here. Uh, but, I, you know, this is just to cut a branch or something, it's a pain. It is light, it's about five pounds or so. These uh, lock collars are, you know, very unstable. Uh, they it move around. Uh, there's only one option of just using the lock collar and, but sometimes when your, you know, branches are wet, this thing will move in and out, it's so annoying. Uh, anything above like 19 feet, uh, super unstable. Wobbles a lot, jumps off the branch, super annoying. Um, so I'm just gonna give this one to my dad. He uses it once a year, you know, he doesn't need anything fancy. But I did want to, you know, buy something good quality. So we ended up buying, you know, this one here. Absolutely love it. Uh, you know, this one is the, you know, Notch uh, Senti 21 footer with the with a silky uh, smooth blade. And I'll, you know, uh, usually they have another name for it. I'm gonna butcher it, but super easy to use, solid. It is a little heavy, 7.7 .7 pounds. It's not round, it's oval uh, aluminum. It does come with a 15.4 inch silky smooth blade and uh, you know, super easy to use. Uh, now you do have the rib pins uh, right here and the collar locks and very easy to use. Um, you know, so press the pin, you find your location and you're ready to rock and roll. Now, obviously if you abuse the tool, you could possibly break these things. Uh, you know, there are plastic, but uh, it just feels so good. And that's pretty much it. Super easy to do. Once you lock it in, this thing is not going anywhere. The grip is just, look at this thing. Super awesome. Nice rubber damper at the bottom, just in case if you drop it. This is pretty much a commercial unit here. I've called a few landscaping places. They all pointed out, get the notch. Uh, you know, I know steel makes one, it's about 18 feet. Uh, this one comes in different uh, sizes. This one's 21 footer. They have a 16 footer with this blade. And then they have a 20 footer with a higher end blade, uh, which I think they call it a Nobasu blade. Um, you know, and that one is uh, retails a little bit more for about 439 or so. This one retails for about 379, so it is a little pricey, but an absolute beast of a tool. So this is something you buy for pretty much, you know, forever. And, um, you know, easy to remove your handle. Take out this, you know, screw right here, get your rib lock and you're good to go. So if you want to cut something below and you don't want to have the, the pole, you can use it and e easily replaceable. Once you set it up, there's no shaking, there's no wobbling, it's just nice and solid. Now, uh, this one, like I mentioned, is the Silky Smooth Blade. And I'm gonna butcher the name, they call it the Hayuachi Blade. Now, thick, I think it's about 1.6 millimeters thick. You do have a super sharp edge right here. You can push some of the branches out of the way. And this one is extremely sharp also, uh, good for pulling down and cutting some of the palm fronds, rubellinis, you know, uh, so less the palm, things of that nature, uh, cuts it like butter. So this thing is extremely sharp and this just feels so good, solid. There's no vibration, cuts oak, awesome. Really, really nice. So very happy I purchased this one here. Um, you know, cause I had a smile on my face and I usually, you know, don't like to break my rule of buying cheap tools, but I ended up buying this one here and every time I use it, super frustrating. 
but you know this one here is just solid it is a little like i said mentioned a little heavy 7.7 .7 pounds versus you know a four to five pound uh you know pole salt but just the way it feels is phenomenal so like i mentioned before check out some of the links uh, we're going to try it out uh, see how it works show you some of the examples and uh don't forget to um you know wear some protection always and uh you know i picked this one up a while back this little guy right here uh comes with a mesh you know it comes to your you know uh protect you know ear protection super super comfortable and it also has like a little plastic clear shield for the front i used to do uh, mountain bike trail maintenance and we used to have to you know carry them you know uh, whenever we were doing any trimming obviously if you're doing you know uh, you know your chainsaws and things like that but you know we did some cutting sometimes some of the old bar you know tree branches will fall on us so definitely wear some protection eye protection long sleeves and gloves um, you know, definitely don't want any of that stuff to fall on you. So like I said, you know, uh, if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Don't forget to like and follow. So let's get right to it. Yeah. All right, so I put the tape measure down from end to end. I'm getting 20 feet and nine inches, not the full 21 feet. Uh, in some cases, I've seen a lot of the pole saws uh, that do uh, add your average, uh, you know, height. And it'll tell you it's 23 feet and it's like 21 plus your body height. So it is 20 feet and nine inches from tip to tip. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, reg collapse the, you know, pole saw. We're gonna go ahead and give it a try to these uh, Rubellinis to see how, you know, easily it cuts. Um, you know, like I said, the, you know, tip is very, very sharp. So that was one swing, super easy. And I gotta tell you, it cuts very, very nice. All right, so let's see if we can get that dried up branch up there. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this little trunk right here that I've cut the other day, see how, uh, how it works. All right guys, so look how smooth the cut is. Beautiful in relation, very, very nice. It would have taken me a lot longer to do it with the other one. So maybe I should try it out just to see how many strokes it takes with the other blade, so. All right, so let's try the other blade, see how it works. All right, so it does, you know, cut it, more strokes. I do have to put pressure on it because if not, it starts bouncing. Uh, so my arms are, you know, kind of like starting to fall off. But, uh, you know, it does work. But, you know, like I said, you know, you have to work hard at it. So, uh, you know, let's keep on. All right, so these are the Sylvester palms. They do have a very sharp needle. So you have to kind of be careful. I get to trim these several times a year. See how it does. All right. Two strokes. One stroke. Oh, one and a half stroke. And voila, beautiful. All right, so let's go a little higher to see if we can reach this one up there. You can see this is a two-story home, so it is pretty tall. So it's fully extended. Whoop. See if I could break it. If 
you want to cut it. All right, so let's go ahead and cut this branch here, oak tree. So we're going to go ahead and try it out just by hand and see how it cuts. Very nice. All right, so in conclusion, this notch senti 21 footer is fantastic. I really love it. It's uh, you know almost effortless whenever you're going to be using it compared to some of the inexpensive poles out there. So I definitely recommend it. You know, if you have any questions or any comments, put them down below. Check out some of the links and don't forget to like and follow. See you guys next video.